So what is the difference between data authenticity and data integrity? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, if we look at the definitions from the NIST, so the National Institute of Standards and Technology, a US government organization, and what they say about authenticity is that the property that data originated from its purported source. I really like the definitions from them. They're always so short and concise. It's really cool. Um, and for data integrity, they say the property that data or information have not been altered or destroyed in an unauthorized manner while in transit or address. So this is just something that I added. Um, but yeah, these are like the two definitions, but let's make, let's make it a bit more concrete, uh, concrete. So this is Alice and Alice wants to send a love letter to Bob. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Alice just writes like the letter and it says, yeah, whatever, best Alice, like at, at the end. And what would be an authenticity violation now? So an authenticity violation would be if the letter that Bob is receiving is actually not coming from Alice, but it's coming from someone else. Okay, so that's what it says here, right? The property that data originated from its purported source. So if Eve writes a letter to Bob and a love letter to Bob and says best Alice, then this would be an authenticity violation because the data is actually not really coming like from Alice, but from a different person. And of course, the fix here would be to use message authentication codes or digital signatures. So uh, better to exchange like <laughs> public keys of RSA or ellipti elliptic curve digital signature keys up front. So uh, we don't have any issues with love letters. Okay, so this is like what authenticity is. The data comes from its purported source. So the data is actually coming from the person where you think it's coming from and not from someone else. Let's look at data integrity. Let's say Alice again wants to write a love letter to Bob. Let's take a look at the scenario where data integrity is violated while data is in transit. Let's say like we have this letter here and uh, our little friend here, Eve, is now the male lady. Alice writes like the letter and says, oh yeah, best Alice. And then, uh, well, Eve is sort of able to intercept like the letter that is transported from Alice to Bob. And it says, yeah, you know, I'm just going to change the name here. Yeah, I'm going to change the name from Alice to Mia. And then this is, letter is actually what's arriving at Bob. So that means the original content that was supposed to be sent has been modified in an unauthorized manner by Eve. The thing that Bob is receiving is no longer what Alice has originally written. And of course, the fix here is also to use message authentication codes and digital signatures. So that's one property where you have data integrity violation while in transit. So while data is being sent between two parties. There's also another case where you have the data integrity violation while you are addressed. So just think like, okay, Alice wants to write a love letter and uh, she puts like the letter on the desk because she might want to think about it a bit like what she's writing. And Eve is just coming to the desk, right? And it's just modifying like the content of this letter. And then the letter is eventually received by Bob. Yeah, so this would be an integrity violation while at rest. So data integrity can be violated when in transit. So while the thing is transmitted from one party to another or while it is at rest. Yeah, so of course in the digital world, this would mean, well, you save something on your disk and then some program is just modifying whatever is on that disk. The solution here is to make sure that nobody has access to whatever you're storing. So maybe lock this thing up, make sure that nobody can find it, compartmentalize it, uh, or even encrypt or, or sign and encrypt it uh, so that you would uh, notice immediately when something has been, has been changed before you submit it. So this is our little metaphor to understand these things here a bit better. Authenticity means it comes from the source where you think it's coming from. Data integrity means that the data has not been modified while at rest or in transit. And by the way, um, it also says here not been altered or destroyed. So Eve could have just uh, taken the letter and she could have not forwarded it. So then the letter would have been destroyed or she could have just uh, taken the letter from from the desk and just just burn it so you can also destroy like data while at rest and while in transit yeah so this is like the difference i think it's important to just understand it on a theoretical level 
Um, because then it just makes it way easier if you just read like some text and you immediately know what it is about. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.